Hi everyone. Today let's talk about our preparation strategy for the next six months for RBI examination. In this session specifically, I'm going to talk about the entire timetable that you can create for RBI 2023. But in this session, we will not talk about sources, self-study, all of those things. I'm assuming that you're using either my course or any other course, whatsoever they might be. Or then, you have already know about sources. You're already aware about the books, the notes, previous year papers. You have done all that homework already. So what do you do now? How do you implement? How do you execute the plan that you have probably created? Or how do you execute the entire preparation strategy into action? So what should the timetable be done week-wise, month-wise, three-month-wise, six-month-wise? We will discuss that in this session. Let's start with some basics. I have divided the entire preparation into working and non-working aspirants because we know that majority of the students out there have some or the other limitations. They have some pre-limitations, pre-conditions. They have some commitments as well. They cannot just sit at home and study for this exam. But at the same time, there are a lot of freshers as well who have started aspiring for this exam. So if you are a working candidate, hai, if you are working in a bank or in any organization, you have limited time. So how do you manage and what exactly uh, do you do in one week? The amount of coverage in one week is going to be limited compared to what a non-working aspirant can do. But if you are consistent with your preparation, you can actually beat him or be at par with him. It doesn't matter whether you have less time or not. If your preparation is going consistently and it's going in the right way, then there is no way that you are behind a non-working aspirant. So what do you do in a week? Number one, you always cover two subjects per day. You never cover more than two subjects per day. You can probably try and or think of covering one subject also in one day but never more than two. These preconditions are some things that you have to keep in mind. Number two, one day per week is for revision. And by revision, I mean active revision. I've already talked about active revision in another uh, YouTube video. Please watch it in the description. I will put a link in the description. So one day per week is for revision. No matter how much you cover, even if you cover 10 pages, you have to take out one day every week for revision. If you're able to revise in two hours, it's a bonus for you because now you can use the remaining time to cover more. But one day every week has to be taken out for revision. Whatever you have read, it is more important to remember. Rather than studying more and more and not remembering whatever you are studying. Okay? I hope the message is being sent to you. One day per week, phase two current affairs because you might not find enough time to cover current affairs on a daily basis. If your work environment is such that you can figure out time, then why not? In that case, you can save this one day per week for phase two current affairs. If not, please take out time from now onwards for phase two current affairs one day every week. And one day every week you are going to keep for tests. It includes English descriptive test writing, it includes answer writing, it includes chapter wise or sectional tests of whatever you are covering. Jo bhi aap subject cover kar rahe ho, uske chapter wise ya sectional test aapko yahan pe uthane zaruri hai. I hope you understand it now. Ab aap bologe sir, aapne teen din yahan laga di hai, we are just left with four more days. If, you, if I'm taking rest for one day, then three more days. It doesn't matter, it's completely fine. Your objective here is to cover everything thoroughly and well so that you don't have to spend a lot of time on revision. Bar 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 jab aap revision karoge, usme time kam se kam aapka lagega because you have thoroughly prepared whatever you have studied. Okay. Coming to non-working aspirant, you are also going to cover maximum of two subjects per day, never more than two subjects. Daily active revision, you are saving time here because uh, this working aspirant here is taking out one day per week for revision, but you have to find time to revise daily through active revision. Daily, you have to cover phase two current, especially right now. And one day every week 
has to be kept for tests. This includes English test. आप एक English का essay लिखोगे minimum, if not an entire English test. At least four questions answer writing आपको करना जरूरी है मैं आपको ऑलरेडी क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे और टेस्ट बहुत सारे दे चुका हूं इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स वन एटलीस्ट वन एम सी क्यू टेस्ट ऑफ थर्टी क्वेश्चन फोर्टी क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन वेरी रेलिवेंट बिकॉज दिस हेल्प यू गेट यूज टू द आइडिया ऑफ राइटिंग अ मॉक लुकिंग एट अ क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेरियस टेक्निक्स दैट योर माइंड विल स्टार्ट फिगरिंग आउट हाउ टू क्रैक दैट क्वेश्चन ये अभी से करना आपको जरूरी है वन डे एवरी वीक हैज टू बी केप फॉर दिस Now let's come to the time table. अब आते हैं टाइम टेबल पे किस तरह से आप डिवाइड करेंगे अपना टाइम नाउ डिवाइडेड इन टू टू मेजर ट्रांसेस वन इज फ्रॉम नाउ टू डिसम्बर एंड सेकेंड इज फ्रॉम जनवरी टिल अप्रिल अभी लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द टाइम टेबल और द डिविजन ऑफ मंथ फ्रॉम नाउ टू डिसम्बर अभी सेप्टेम्बर चल रहा है सो राइट नाउ वी आर वी आर कवरिंग ई एस आई एंड मैनेजमेंट आपको भी ई एस आई और मैनेजमेंट ही कवर करना है I'm assuming कि आप मेरे कोर्स में या किसी और कोर्स में या कुछ ना कुछ सोर्स यूज कर रहे हो शूर ऑलरेडी अवेयर कि कहां से कवर करना है आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग अनोदर सेशन वेर आई विल बी स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट द सोर्सेज फॉर सेल्फ स्टडी स्टूडेंट्स द सोर्सेज दैट दे कैन यूज टू फिट इन इन टू दिस टाइम टेबल तो इस वाले सेशन को और एक सोर्सेज को कंबाइन करके एक अलग सेशन बनाएंगे बट If you are already experienced, if you have already given the exam before, UPSC aspirant हो पता है कहां से पढ़ना है then you can just understand कि मेरे को division क्या करना है So in September you are going to keep revise, keep covering ESI and management. एस आई मैनेजमेंट हम भी अभी ई एस आई मैनेजमेंट कवर कर रहे हैं ऑक्टोबर में बाई सेप्टेम्बर एंड आई बी डन विद ई एस आई सो इन ऑक्टोबर फर्स्ट वीक आई बी स्टार्टिंग विद फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट तो चल ही रहा है मैनेजमेंट इज Expected to finish by October end. तो ये हम दो subjects September और October में cover करेंगे अभी आपको realize होगा you will have so much time to revise. In November you can cover finance and reasoning because finance will not be done in a month. November और लग जाएगा finance में Management is expected to complete by October end. So you will have reasoning. You can start with reasoning because it's an important part in phase वन सिक्सटी marks worth of weightage. so with finance you start with reasoning in november in december you start with quant and e english reasoning cover ho jayega aapka ek mahine mein easily if you're able to cover it faster you pick it up here as well okay so you can just pull back the entire timeline in that case in december you can cover quant and english plus you have to complete phase 2 current affairs now let me tell you ki phase 2 current mein aapko kya kya cover karna hai it looks very simple but it is not so simple exactly aapko kya kya complete karna hai phase 2 current mein number 1 pib 247 which is our magazine covering the entire pib second is rbi 247 that covers entire finance current affairs including rbi website third is government schemes ye do to ho gayi magazines is fir ho gaya topic wise government schemes एनुअल सर्वेज एनुअल सर्वेज और इसमें रिपोर्ट भी आ जाती है लॉर्ड ऑफ एनुअल रिपोर्ट आर बी आई एस रिपोर्ट एंड वेरियस अदर एनुअल रिपोर्ट कम रेगुलरली वो सारी रिपोर्ट भी यहां पर आ जाएगी ओके गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स हो गया एनुअल सर्वेज एंड रिपोर्ट हो गया जी डी पी फोरकास्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम हेयर इंडिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट because it you don't have to just remember the rank of india in an index but also the components uh, behind that index wahan se bhi questions aate hain then economic survey comes now economic survey will come by january end so you can cover it then but in any case you have to cover it if not in december then in january okay to ye sara hamara ho gaya an exhaustive list of current affairs that you have to cover phase 2 current this is all phase 2 only okay nothing for phase 1 so phase 2 current you have to complete in december maine december mein kyun rakha hai because quant and english are going to be easier compared to other subjects less demanding compared to other subjects you can take more time to practice but conceptual understanding aapko pata karne mein 10 12 din 15 din se zyada samay nahi lagega so rest of the time you can use to cover these one by one ek ek karke uthaoge cover karoge khatam karoge isko okay 
Now PIB 247 and RBA 247, one year from the examination. So you can probably start from, let's say, May 2022 to May 2023. Similarly, RBA 247, May 2022 onwards to May 2023. And you have to cover documents cover karne. Okay. Now let's come to, <coughs> sorry. Now let's come to the next timeline, which is January onwards. Above January onwards, kis tarah se cover karoge? Okay. Number one, January mein, you start with revision because now we are done with the entire syllabus by December end. Even if you start now and cover with me by December end, you'll be done with majority of the syllabus. Fir aapka revision start ho jayega. ESI and management ka revision start karenge plus phase two current, something that you covered in December, you will start revising that again. We have to revise at least four to five times because if you revise, nahi karoge, you will not remember and you will not be able to fetch marks in the final exam. This is a reality. Hai. Majority students don't uh, push revision a lot, don't give a lot of importance to revision and that's why they fail. So we will not do this. In my course, mein at least we will start January se revision start karenge. ESI management phase 2 current. Okay. February, you are going to revise finance phase 2 current ka revision aapka continue rahega. You will start with revision of reasoning through practice questions. March, dekho, amara ESI management finance tino ho gaye. Phase 2 current dono month mein ho gaya. Revision kaafi cover ho jayega. Reasoning yaha par ho gaya. So you pick up quant and English and revise it probably in 10-15 days maximum. And here you start with phase 1 current affairs that is through spotlight. Spotlight 4 to 6 months is enough. So if the exam is to be held in May, then let's say January onwards you can revise. January onwards you can cover. Jan, Feb, March, April and May. 5 months more than enough. Okay. So March you start with spotlight. Aap January ki cover karoge. February, March, April, May. Ek ek karke sari cover karoge. In March, your objective is to cover Jan, Feb, March, three months spotlight. April, you start with phase two revision again. After se yehi cycle repeat karoge, ESI management, finance. Tino ko yaha pe cover karoge because you're revising for phase two only. Why I, have I written phase two revision only? Because depending upon the examination, let's say the exam is announced in May, May end, for example. So, aapke paas May pura hai to cover phase one. Uh, quant reasoning English plus uh, current affairs. So, you can April nikal sakte ho phase 2 revision ke liye and May entire you can keep for phase 1 because then the examination is. June may exam hota hai, thoda aur late hota hai. So, you can push it a little further. Aap all cheeze revise kar sakte ho. Yaha pe, when I say phase 2 revision, I also mean phase 2 current because phase 2 current aapka phase 1 mein aata hai. Okay, please don't make this mistake of thinking that phase 2 current mein phase 1 ke baad karunga. You have to cover it before and you have to cover it multiple times. 3-4 times aapko karna hi karna hai cover. Okay. Ye hum ho gaya hamara pura timetable for starting with the course. Self-study bhi karna chaate ho. If you know the sources and everything else, you can very well use the same timetable. It does not change. Jaise mein padhata hoon, aap khud bhi padh sakte ho. Mein jis tarah se padhaunga, ये पूरा रूटीन हम लोग फॉलो करेंगे अप्रोक्सीमेटली इसी टाइमलाइन के साथ हम अभी भी चल रहे हैं एंड वील की फॉलोइंग द सेम ओके कोई डाउट है कोई फीडबैक है कोई भी कुछ भी बोलना चाहते हो यू वांट टू टॉक टू मी यू वांट टू डिस्कस एनीथिंग यू कैन मेंशन इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर योर क्वेरी एंड ट्राई एंड गेट इन टच विद यू टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाटएवर योर क्वेरी इज ठीक है सो दिस वाज ऑल आई होप इट वाज यूजफुल आई विल सी यू वेरी वेरी सून अगेन ऑल द बेस्ट गाइस टेक केयर बाय बाय जय हिंद